CCing your hip cylinder heads doesn't have to be an expensive adventure. I wanted to show everybody how you can do it yourself at home without spending a ton of money. Um, first of all, if you look keenly, my ceiling plate that I'm using, which I also use on uh, doing the chamber CCs, because I've got my two little holes to let the air out, is nothing more than part of a CD case that I have ground the ridges off real lightly and gently on a bench grinder which I guess you could do with a hand file if you just didn't have a bench grinder but I use a lid or half of a CD case to seal seal my surfaces the valve in this particular case factory valve sealed lightly with Vaseline held in place with a lightweight checking spring and factory retainer and locks everything is watertight as we're using I don't know if you can see through the plexiglass an extremely blue concoction of wait for it rubbing alcohol and food coloring doesn't get much simpler than that as far as measuring your liquids Everybody's had a sick kid or been to the doctor before. Milliliters are equal to cc's. A lot of people don't realize that and feel free to do a internet search to verify that full piece of information. But a milliliter crosses straight over to a cc. So you take those little medicine syringes, which I bought this 60 milliliter at the local... Uh, farm supply store and I use it 50 cc's at a time and then when I get close to filling up the port we'll switch over to the smaller cc's to you know finalize its size um, right now we have three fifties so this port has 150 cc's of liquid in it and we're going to continue filling it until we get it topped off And all you want to do is keep, do not let your plastic plate slide. Just have nice, even pressure. Because we did try this the first time using uh, windshield washer fluid. Because I thought, oh, I got this uh, windshield washer fluid. But it foamed up really bad. So I went back to my tried and true rubbing alcohol with food coloring. Okay, so let's take a look at the port. Okay, these are the 241 heads. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's got 200 cc's, the factory rating for this uh, as cast 241 cylinder head is listed as having 200 cc runners. Go ahead and put 20 cc's in there and we'll see where we come out. So basically, we're at the factory rated 200 cc's. So anything above that would be a direct result of our porting efforts. In order to hit the flow ranges that we're looking for, there's an expectation of cc's. Let me get over here where they can see a little bit better. And just as it starts getting close to the top, let me know because we may have to tilt the head just a hair to get it full because I don't know that it's 100% level looks like it's nose down hold on, slow down where are we at? Getting close. no, I mean in the port how much more do we got to go? do we got to pull it towards you just a hair? Yeah. can you do that or do you need help? you want me just tilt it enough to get the air bubble towards the top of the port where you're putting the liquid in. Tilt it a little bit more. See the bubble? Mm -hmm. Have it go all the way up. All the way up. Because we want to fill.
fill that port and get all the air out of it. So wiggle it around, do whatever you need to do. Fill that baby up. There it comes. It's almost there. There we are. Completely filled port. So everybody can see. 15. Left. Okay, so I was right where I wanted to be because I was hoping, because I did not go hog wild on these, I wanted to see around 215 CFM because that was a figure I knew legitimizes 270 plus CFM. Once you get up closer to 219 CFM of, of uh, runner volume, you're at 280 plus closer to 285 CFM um, this particular head is going on a stock bottom end LS1 five, you know 57 engine with uh, cam upgrade and cylinder head so I didn't want to go too much over 215 I'm sorry 215 CC because I didn't want to cause a lazy port on such a small cubic inch engine so at 215 cc on the intake runner, uh, and then you guys saw it, and that is the second time we've run the numbers on it, uh, nothing is leaking. There's no leakage out of the valve, nothing out of the uh, stem. It's holding its uh, measurement. Uh, there's no excess. Uh, I used uh, Vaseline as my sealing substance. You don't gob it on so thick that when you push your plate down that it pushes into the port and alters your reading. But I just want everyone to see, you can actually CC your heads at home with low dollar, almost free components because it doesn't cost anything to get a bottle of rubbing alcohol, food coloring, these little uh, milliliter plungers. A lot of people use them for medicine, liquid medicine for kids, whatever. You know, everybody knows what Vaseline is. And you can basically CC your heads at home and verify, A, what you start out with, B, where you're at. When you do cylinder head porting, you can find out if you actually made a difference or not. Um, like I said, once you reach 215 cc's, that's... 270 plus CFM of airflow. I know from a fact that this will flow probably close to 275 CFM of air. It's going to have good port velocity and be a, a really big pickup uh, for the customer and what the application that he's uh, trying to build. You know, I would have pushed it out and done a little more opening and bumped it up closer to 220 cc's on the intake port if he had a bigger engine you know if we were building a 383 or a 400 something with a little more cubic inches 220 plus you know runners is the way to go but on that 5.7 motor i'm telling you this thing will have more average power and torque throughout the rpm range than putting a really big runner on a 5.7 motor so uh let that be a Kind of a word of advice on how to make good power uh, without hogging your heads out because I guarantee you 275 CFM of air that's just on the intake because this thing's going to flow 200 plus I'd say from the way it looks and the way I've uh, ported these in the past that's going to be 210 plus CFM on the exhaust port um, I'm probably going to go ahead and CC one of those exhaust ports too but I don't have editing software, so you're probably only going to get to see the uh, CCing of the intake port. I'm very happy with the results. It came out exactly, which is just almost ironic, where I was shooting for, so I can guarantee the heads would flow properly in the range I guaranteed. So, anyway, that's CCing your cylinder heads on the cheap. Anybody can do it. It just takes a little bit of patience and some low dollar components. Thanks for watching. I'll keep building.